Okay. Okay, you've gathered up the bungee cables and the, the trash bins didn't go anywhere. They survived. And we're just gonna, we're gonna take a walk back to the kitchen. And let's see. Look at all this. Okay, Eddie's going to put those away. I'm going to just do a short, a short survey. Look at all this. I'm walking over our brick paved patio. We got a little bit of standing water, but not too much. Let's see. And this, this is our truck. I put a tarp over our truck. To, because our truck's not as watertight as it used to be. And, and I secured it underneath with bungee cables. And let's see. There we are. What I was concerned about was, was uh, getting a lot of water trapped in the bed of the truck. So this is where, where it gathered. And uh, this tarp did a good job keeping the water off the truck. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to come back and let's see. Let's see how, how the rest... Yeah. Yeah, we just got a lot of tree debris. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it's like everybody's just going to have to do a lot of like yard cleanup. So, so I'm going I'm to come back to this and unwrap the truck later. But I think what I'm going to start on is, good lord, I'm going to start raking some of these leaves away. And there's, there's a cat. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we got the back door open. Let's see. Now, now last night, at some point last night, this, the door to the water heater closet blew open and Eddie came out and closed it back up. But the pilot light did not go out, so we still have hot water. The only, the only thing we're missing in the house is electricity. But we're, we're making do. Squirrels are going to have anything to eat this year. <laughs> Squirrels aren't going to have anything to eat? No. Uh, I think not. Well, if we, clean, if we clean all this up, yeah. Because look, this is all good munchy squirrel food. But the thing is, we, we, we live... In, in a in a grove of oak trees, more or less. I think the squirrels will have plenty. Find my good break. I'm sorry. I should. You know, I should have rehearsed this. This doesn't make for compelling video. Okay. Well, I'm going to use this. That's where the concrete sidewalk starts. Let's see. Okay, where's the good rake? I thought that was under there. Yeah, it's, oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, man. It's all the way back behind, it's all the way back behind everything else. There we go. This is the good rake. Okay, and you can watch me peel away the debris, and it'll expose our beautiful patio. Okay, so... <laughs> hey, this, this is what's underneath. Okay, I'm just going to do a cursory... give you the idea. Basically what we, what we have to do is
So <laughs> underneath, underneath is our beautiful brick paved patio. And what I'll do is I'll use this rough old broom to sweep it. Actually, actually, it might be a good idea to let this dry out. I think what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to rake, rake, you know, the first layer off and let this thing dry out. And then, uh, yeah, I'll probably gather a lot of this up into trash bags. Usually we dump it into our, um, our compost pile it, back in the back, but uh, our compost pile is kind of full. So I, I think we'll be, we'll be filling up some trash bags and setting it out on the street. And the city will come and pick it up. But uh, anyway, that's where <laughs> this is where we are after Hurricane Isaac. This is uh, Thursday, August 30th. Now that the storm has passed, and it's supposed to be up in Baton Rouge by now, but you know, it's the sun is peeking out between the clouds, it's it's bright, it's sunny, it's mild, it feels like it's about 70, 72 degrees out here. It's nice. So so anyway, I just wanted to I just wanted to get that on film. <laughs> and, and we'll do a little film later after I've made some progress. Okay, mm -hmm. you can you can. Here we are cleaning up out of uh, Hurricane Isaac. The neighbors are too. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Bugs are eating me alive. I'm gonna be off. Bug fights by the day is yeah. done. Documenting proof that I do some work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I have to use a shovel because it's so thick. Oh God, and right in the area of standing water. Yeah, this is the low spot and that's the low spot. Yeah. And some of the leaves could be swept underneath the plants, which I'm going to do. Complete. It's a precious kitty. Standing water. And look at the humongous pile. Okay, I'm taking a much needed break. But I'm going to see what happens. Okay. This is where we are. Okay, I can put this chair up on this right here. Okay. Oh, we're making progress. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll be inside, Eddie. It's almost complete. It's all immaculate, almost. This is immaculate. This is mulched, all mulched. This in, this in front is mulched. It's like a little bit of, you know, like dirty water got through. There's the antenna. Stay pretty clean. Yes. Walk around, work on the other side. Ah. The bed did not flood. Ah. Almost yeah, dry. Is, it's almost dry. Yeah, this is bed what I was not... afraid of. I, want, I covered it because I didn't want the bed to flood. Because the bed's not as watertight as it used to be. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 